So Calamar, Patreon member, asked me if I would look at the rotary models in the Helix. So we've got three in here. What I'm going to do is use these with, I think, a Fender Princeton. Let's try this. Um, now, what I'm going to do in this case is not use a cab. So basically, guitarists like Dave Gilmore, Joe Walsh, uh, what we got? We've got other folks, Greg Allman, Jimmy Smith, Jimi Hendrix, George Harrison, John Lennon, ran his vocals through one. Uh, what we got? Chris Cornell. Um, they've used these things. They were initially, I think, designed for organs, and you can use these to get some of that kind of organ sound. Now, I think we find them in the stereo rotary section. So 122 rotary is the smaller Leslie cabinet, 145 is the bigger Leslie cabinet, and then Vibe Rotary is the Fender Vibratone. So let's start with the biggest of the Leslie cabs and let's just see what we get. So initially what you'll hear is... So that's basically what we've got. We've got speed, fast and slow. I think there was also a chorale setting on the original models. And um, we've got a ramp, so that should tell us how long it takes to get between slow and fast. So we'll go slow. Um, and then what else have we got? We've got our slow settings. So we'll put it like this. So we've got a very pronounced difference. Um, drive, so this will be like speaker drive, I guess. Can have it as clean as a whistle if blend we're going between the woofer and the horn which would be like the tweeter so for a bit more upper end or more lower end equal you know we get a good mix of both then we've got the mix control here now, if we're using this as a cab, you might want to use this 100%. If you're not, then I'd suggest moving it elsewhere. Headroom, I'm going to set to plus 12 so that we're not getting like speaker breakup. And those are kind of our settings. Now, what we could do is, I think, let's set the speed slow fast. If we hold this in, uh, we'll be able to control it via foot switch one. Um, and so then what you can do really nice kind of ramping between Okay, so that's kind of what we could do with one of them. If we, let's go again. Can we fit another one in? Uh, stereo modulation. Let's try the vibe rotary. Is this much different? No, same kind of thing going on with that. It's gonna be a different sound. A bit darker, I think. Uh, speaker drive down, so. But I actually really like the sound. A slightly different kind of, um, what would you call that? Like the... The kind of, you know, amplitude of the wave is a bit different. Uh, on that one um, and what else can we put in another one stereo yeah okay 
and this would be the smallest speaker so I'm going to presume that this one will have least bass so the 145 to me has the darkest fullest bass and that one's a bit more mid focus so what I'm going to do actually let's clear clear that box and then I'm going to put this onto path B and let's see what we can get done with both of these so we're going to have like two rotary speakers at a time and I'm going to set this one up to be controlled by foot switch one as well But I think I don't want it to be that fast, but... And if we pan slightly left and slightly right... Uh, left... 60... Right... 60... So, later on... Shinai would go on to kind of try and get this in pedal form using a bulb in a univibe, right? And You know, I think just simply use these instead of cabs and you can get some interesting kind of effects. Um, I think if I was aiming for more driven tones or something that I could turn on and off, I might just use a Univibe instead. I think we can even have one where it's kind of stopped. I oh, know on the real thing there was a stop mode. Um, I don't think we have these here, but see how do they take gain? So if we put uh, a bit of a drive pedal in front, maybe a tube screamer. Um, and if I was using them like this, I wouldn't bypass them because you then, if, especially if you had drive on, you'd get this kind of thing, which is going to be not great. But with them on, Um, let's just chuck a bit of a stereo delay in if we can. Um... Thank you to Keith for this idea. Keith from Five Watt World, you know his channel. Um, go check it out. But I'd seen some pr patches that he built. He used the the rotary speaker instead of a cab you could consider adding this in parallel to a cab but i think there's a really cool bunch of options there um, as i say 145 is the biggest sounding 
than the Vibe Rotary and you know consider pairing them and getting some interesting kind of sounds out of there. I'm going to put together an intro with these tones. Um, hopefully that was vaguely interesting. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers, let me know if you want me to drop this into the folder.